Undead Unluck has been pretty great so far. Four episodes in. Really like how this is a little bit more comedic. Don't get me wrong. There are definitely some sad moments. Like in episode four, for instance, that we'll actually get into. I really like Andy, man. He is a great MC. Him being undead, so basically a zombie. But he's not your typical zombie. I think he's a zombie from how his powers work. Not some zombie undead where he's kind of brainless. He uses his power in such a unique way spews out blood and you can use it as projectiles and i really love his attitude towards everything he's just really carefree and i mean bro's been alive for i don't know how many years basically unkillable it seems like at least so far they haven't really touched on him being well so old and seeing his friends die and i'm sure he's lost a lot of friends along the way not just because he's so old i'm assuming i don't know how old he is also because he's being hunted by this organization i mean even in episode three where they went to russia he went looking for his friends to get some good old grub and you know to meet up and he comes back to fuko and says oh yeah uh those guys yeah they're dead they kicked the bucket it's like bro what i'm surprised he's just like yeah you know it is what it is i mean i've been alive for so long you know it's whatever at this point i do wonder if we're going to get some more moments with uh him realizing or maybe just having the emotions really settle in not that i want to see andy sad by any means but that's just one thing that's always in my head about people who like live forever how they are affected by such things but yeah andy absolutely great fuko uh you know she's not terrible i i would say that gina who we just saw in episode Episode 3 and 4 is uh, way better than Fuko. I'm not gonna lie, I do like her. I'm gonna spoil it if you haven't seen Episode 4. So if you don't want any spoilers for Episode 4, please click out of the video. I apologize. Gina does die in Episode 4. Now, I did go to the Wikipedia about Gina because I really didn't understand her abilities. And I still don't fully understand it either. Her ability is something along the lines of unchanged. She has a barrier, I understand that. Has these invisible hands that can grow grab you and crush you and all type of stuff i looked on the wiki page and i and i still don't completely understand her abilities i'm just too stupid i guess she does technically die in episode four with their really big fight which i will say was absolutely amazingly animated so sadly andy and fuko do defeat her and i was really kind of sad about that not like i cried and bawled my eyes out or anything but i was like dang man why you gotta kill off best girl bro i was actually hoping man that she would actually work with them i know that probably what's going to happen gina is absolutely in love with andy he is down bad for him and it was really sweet and wholesome i think seeing her love for him although she's definitely quite crazy i wouldn't call her like the craziest bitch in the world she definitely has a has a sweet spot in my heart i don't know man sometimes i do like them crazy bitches you know like kurumi tokisaki fear from c3 sally from peach boy riverside you know i i do like my crazy bitches man after watching the end again huh Oh, man, it really does make me sad that Gina is a villain and we're probably not going to see more of her. She's not going to be in the main cast and go with Andy and Fuko, which would have been an absolute W. But when Andy defeated her, her anti-aging, I guess, power stopped working. So now I guess she's falling apart. I don't really know how to explain it, but she got all these cracks on her. Th this moment definitely touched me. Instead of Andy just finishing her off like I think he was planning to, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna let you live for a little bit. And we're, we're gonna have this really really sweet moment where he does kiss her and I believe he actually does have some feelings for Gina at the very least. I don't know why he would kiss her if he didn't have any form of feelings for her, you know? She was happy, but she's telling him, no, don't kiss me when I'm looking like this, you know, because she's actually old. And he's like, Baka, just because you have a few wrinkles doesn't change how beautiful you are. That probably made her so freaking happy and just probably hearing that before she rested in pepperoni probably put her at peace, man. But it definitely hit me and the feels a little bit i'm like ah oh, god dang it man why why you gotta do that man why you gotta get rid of best girl you cannot tell me she's at least not awesome man her character design her attitude how she's a little bit crazy as well and you know her love for andy man you know that just definitely hit the feels definitely hit the feels so yeah absolutely mega w episode of undead unluck definitely the most feels batman episode but also somewhat feels good man but mostly feels batman
man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Undead Unlock has been absolutely a banger. Solid 8 out of 10 for me so far. And I really hope it just keeps getting better for Outbiz. Everyone, I hope you all did enjoy the video. And if you would, please use code Illy on all G Fuel orders. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever the hell time it is for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.